Okay, so Sephiroth versus Mario. Um, Sephiroth has got some pretty interesting moves. To, uh, a good deal of them take have like some startup, uh, which can be a little bit difficult. But anyway, you know, already landing. Um, I what do we call the side B? Do we know? Do we have the name for that? I'm sure someone in the chat um, can help me with that. With the little orbs I, of death. I did find it <gasps> and call it Edelbarn. Say that again. I, I, I name it after Joker's uh, side B. Oh, Eha. For Joe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could say, yeah, Sephiroth's Eha for now. But right now, ugh. Okay, so Kevin gonna start off with a really strong uh, lead already. Taking the first stock, only taking 40 damage. Uh, Kevin's Mario is very learned. Um, part of the offline scene has always had some pretty, like, solid results. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Uh, the level 2 Giga Flare gonna land some damage. But yeah, right now, uh, Kevin is just not getting touched. You can tell that there's still some, like, discomfort with uh, a new with the new character uh, from Zane's side, just trying to get those swings out and just kind of feel, like, the spacing of where you can get the hitbox out before you hit the ground so you don't just completely leave yourself completely vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, Zane says we do pretty good, you know? They seem to know how to, like, okay. you know, face out. You know? So that's really what it comes down to. Like, I feel like... I feel like Sephiroth is a character where if you understand, like, how to space and just know how to add on future, yeah. then all you really need to know is near conversion. Because I believe Sephiroth's near comes out, like, 10. Mm. Like that. And then on top of that, all you need to do is positioning because sometimes when character, he has some decent movement but you have to know how to eat you can't just jump down and expect mm -hmm. it. you're seeing that now you're seeing more Good. trouble from Kivine to get in yep Ooh, okay uh th there could have been a stronger punish there but uh for zane's sake uh Lucky. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice! Okay. So those big swings. Yeah, so if you do, like, short hop rising up air, you will get the swing out before uh, you uh, land, which is really good. You can do it to, like, just, like, harass platforms. And, yeah, just trap them with the other one. And now we're in a last stock situation. So even though the Kavin had a really solid, had a really solid start, uh, Zane was able to bring it back and make it even a little bit uh, closer. Mm. Always throwing out the the little ehas, just being like, "Hey, you gotta respect this." Although that move does have some uh, decentish uh, cool cooldown, so you can like if you you block it, you can probably try and punish Sephiroth. Yeah, and Mario does have a cape, so yeah. that's where it also gets three. Because if you reflect it, it actually does six more. Yeah. If you reflect it, it does what? It does six. Six little ball orbs? Yeah, it does six for some reason. That's crazy! That can be very devastating for some Hmm, okay. Alright, they're doing a very good job of just keeping Mario out. Yeah. Yeah, make you gotta really make use of Sephiroth's tilts, you know, like just forward tilts is definitely probably one of its better options. Oh. Oh, armored it because of the one wing. Oh, this is scary. If Zane is able to land uh, Sephiroth's down B counter, uh, it'll, it'll do a lot of damage. Uh, it could also potentially kill. Almost. I don't know how to read that move, honestly, the way the, the counter works. It's really weird. Oh, no, runs right into the up smash. Kevin Ooh. takes game one. Ooh, the turn around up smash.
Oh, he, uh, Zane went in for a dash attack and ate the up smash. It is like a, it's a Mewtwo dash attack, so it's got quite a bit of startup. If, it, if they would have landed it, it would have been pretty strong, maybe even killed. But Mario up smash really fast. And uh, yeah, they were just too close to get that spaced right, especially versus a character like Mario. And we're seeing the duck hunt. Zane's just like, I tried. <laughs> Zane's duck hunt is out. And now, it's going to be a lot more of a patient game. We're going to be expecting a lot of retreats from Mario, typically going for fireball. Uh, wave down from the hallway or fear burst from the hallway. Levine's just immediately going to the platform, camping out. Uh, Zane, on the other hand, gonna be staying more grounded, throwing out projectiles such as the frisbee and the can. Just getting it to a point where one opponent has to, uh, or one player, I should say, has to approach. And whoever makes that first, lucky with their, their mm -hmm. guesses. Oh, yeah, I'm already seeing kind of a, like a, we're already seeing a turnaround in the fact that like Zane now with a 50% lead, already looking for the kills with that up air. Up air is uh, pretty strong, despite its looks. All right, Kevin trying to bait a roll. The gunman is going to be taking that first stock. Zane has yet to hit 100 damage on their first stock. Let's see what Kevin can do to kind of turn that around. Ooh, double forward air. Oh, Lord. All right. Double dunk. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Goes for the cape trump uh, into back air. It's like, a, it's like a extra quick and easy way for Mario to grab the ledge, like, super fast. Uh, with the cape, and then, you know, you get that, that trump back air. Uh, if you're not ready for it, then you can't, like, DI the trump, and you'll just eat a hit just like Smash 4. So. Oh my, explosive. Okay. Very near conversion. Ah. Alright, goes for tilt. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be a mistake. Mm. Alright, good pressure with the fireball, exploding the can. Is he doing a good job of navigating around that projectile? coming out from Kavin. All right, yeah, Kavin definitely, uh, you know, even though this is uh, his first game versus the Duck Hunt, while this is Zane's second game versus Mario, you know, Kavin keeping some solid gameplay and just, like, adapting to what he, what he needs to. But uh, Zane still has some tricks up their sleeve, landing that up air, picking it up on the top, eaming it up, but still had, like, a, like, not a great percent deficit on this last stock. See what uh, what they can do to kind of even it out and turn this uh, deficit into a lead, or what can Kavin do to, you know, seal it out? 
Uh, it'd be taking the set 2-0. It's looking pretty good for Kavine right now. Ooh, unless you roll into the can. Don't be doing that. Does the can explode uh, against fire? Uh, no, right? I don't think so, but it is a bomb. Uh, yeah, I, I think it just gets damaged. Okay. Yeah, all right, yeah, it didn't explode on contact with the fireball. Or does it? I don't know. So, the can itself doesn't explode, but obviously when it makes contact with the character, it does. This so, might be it. And we're seeing a lot of drops happening from uh, Zane's side. Yeah, a lot. Um, so, what Kovina is basically doing is the <gasps> power can't forward. Mm. I, that was a little roll. I think, I think honestly, that was like a mixture of like the lag spikes. Uh, just you know, like I want something to happen, and it's just part of Mario's route to punish uh, roll on ledge. But yeah, as you can see right here, like as it was happening, uh, unless I got the names mixed up, pretty sure the drops were coming from Zane, and it just made things really uncomfortable. So yeah, Zane so be. Uh, Taking a dip into the loser's bracket. Kavine moving on 2-0 uh, into winner's quarters. So that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. The next match we're going to be having is going to be Quid versus Sensei. So that's... I'm looking forward to that. So PT versus Snakers ESS? Yeah. Cool. That was so good. Then the lag switch into up smash. Yeah, when kinda... you lag switch yourself into just dying. Rest in peace. <laughs> 